Hey gents, today we're looking at Lords of Wool. This is a new company doing custom suiting online from the guys that do Hall Madden. Now there's two separate Hall Maddens to speak about. There's the Hall Madden that I've been signed up for for six years where you get dress shirts delivered each month. They're a great value. And then there's the Hall Madden that does bespoke in-person suiting at their showrooms in New York and DC, LA, uh, San Francisco, and, and a few other cities. And that's a process that starts at 950, multiple fittings, the full bespoke experience. And they're doing Lords of Wool as a way to lower the entry price, but also take that experience online in a way that I am very impressed with after going through the experience. So we'll do a little bit of the time warp here and go back to when I first ordered. And we'll also talk about the ordering process. So Lords of Wool offers blazers, suits, and tuxedos. There's suits starting at $500. And it's a way for the Hall Madden expertise to be brought to a lower price point and have it done online. So basically, if you want to step up in quality from Indochino, Men's Warehouse, and some of the other online made to measure, you can't quite go to somebody like Articles of Style that start up in the 1500 range, but you want that seamless experience in your home, this is a really good way to do it. And if you're familiar with the Articles of Style process, this is very familiar, but they put their own spin on it. So I'll take you through my firsthand experience and we'll talk about why I think they've truly nailed that balance between quality, value, and experience. First, you will order what you are looking for from the site. They have blazers, suits, and tuxedos, which even have a complete black tie outfit, including a black tie dress shirt, which is what I have. So you choose what you'd like and then you do a short survey so they can size you up and place the order. They say for suiting, you can choose from hundreds of fabric options that are available through their platform, but they have like a very nice selection just on their site. But also if you're looking for a specific look like a red carpet look or a celebrity you're looking for, they just say send them a picture and they'll do their best to try and get that look for you. They developed this pretty robust texting system to walk you through the entire order. And I'll show you my text as well as I was going through it. So once you place the order, they'll send you the try on garments. And so we'll go back to when I first received those. All right, so the first package is here, ordered on a Friday, here on a Monday. And so you saw the process of ordering. And essentially what they do is send you what they think will be your size, and then either a size up or a size down depending on what you might be. So, should have two suits in here to try on, and then I'll show you the process of texting them and kind of refining what I'm looking for. All right, so here's the return package. Get that, return label. And then these are the pictures that I'll be sending of the suits. So let's get these on. Oh, uh, these look like the Hall Madden shirts that I've worn for years. Okay, so we get these for the try on. And then we have the suiting. And I did the tux, not the suit, but I assume that this will just be the best way. And there's actually three in here. One, two, three, and then Oh wow. Alright, so we have 38R, 36R, oh, 32R for the pants, and a 30R waist seat bottom. Okay, let's try these on and see what we've got. It's kind of funny, this is the try on shirt, but I have the same pattern from when I when I'm subscribed to Hall Madden. So I think I all, I'm I'm 100 percent certain I also have the pink shirt, but uh, it's interesting to try out the other shirts. So I was always a certain size, like the A series and these, but I've grown a little bit. And so now I'm actually in the B and the B one fits really well. And so let me keep going here. Initially it looked like those were essentially finished suits, but you can see here, they're just unfinished. These are all just for fitting. It even says on the tag here, fitting suits. So you can see like partially constructed waistband and stuff like that. So this is just to get the fit right. It's kind of funny, there's like no, I went to put a hand in my pockets, there's no pockets on there. I thought I'd be like the 38. The 38 felt pretty good, but, but wearing the 40 now feels feels right. And so I got the shirt, the shirt looks good. And obviously 32 on the pants is good in my waist, uh, but it's a 32R, so I'll probably need an extra like inch on the length, a little bit in the sleeves but this feels good. So maybe slightly lower button placement uh, and a little bit in the thighs. My thighs have, have kind of gone up. So these are the pictures I'm gonna send. I'll just pull these off the camera 
text it to them. And then I'll show you that process and see where we go from there. So today is the 18th. So I'll text them today. I want to really see what this looks like, like the entire process through. So, what do you think? Pretty good. It's, it's funny, like there's no button on this. It takes the place of a basting garment, but it's not quite as unconstructed as the other basting garments I've experienced. And so, there we go. All right. So I sent them the photos. I went back and forth on tweaking the fit a little bit. And I think here it's important to highlight that they're not calling this made to measure or bespoke. It's a suit that's as close to off the rack with your fit with some minor tweaks. If you want a truly custom suit or a crazy combination of uh, different fabrics and lapel styles and all the different custom options that are out there, this isn't really the one for you. They're giving you the options that most guys need and trying to make it as seamless and easy as possible. That being said, the final garment was damn near perfect on me just based on the try on fit, some photos and some texts. So let's unbox that now. All right, so we have a full garment came on August 1st. So about you know, six weeks and let's open this up. Very nice bag. This is something that kind of lacks at the $500 price point is a nice Included garment suit bag. Very uh, suit supply. Suit supply is a really nice one. At, the, at around the $500 mark. Okay. Hey. Oh yeah. Let's get it on. Kind of wool. of wool. Okay, to text them some pictures, uh, but let me grab a dress shirt and get this thing on. I had to grab my, my hole cuts here, and I fully understand that I would not wear this dinner jacket without socks. I just don't have nice black socks on hand. I would wear nice black socks to go with my black or maybe navy socks. Um, Okay, but the shirt, I mean the shirt is an absolute custom fit. Like, there's there's very little excess fabric around the waist, the sleeves, even for, you know, the French cuffs coming right to where I would want them. And then, you know, shoulder lines look good. Uh, the pants, the perfect drape, like they're, they're slim but modern at the same time, like, the waist feels really good, and my waist has been fluctuating a lot based on my exercising, and so they like they nailed it on that, and you can see that in the difference from the try-on to the final one. I haven't put this on yet. I wanted wanted this to be like a true unboxing. I have the Bond tuxedo. This kind of makes me feel more Bond-like than that. Navy. That's like the Skyfall, right? He doesn't do the contrast. I know, no cummerbund. Don't, don't at me. Let me go check. Let me go check the mirror. What do you think? This is always a problem. I don't. I can't see if it's pulling. But this is always a problem in my custom suits. But let's see. All right, so for never submitting measurements, this is very good. You know, like the sleeves, great. Uh, I can't get too picky about these. My one arm is a little shorter than the other, but it's like depends on how much I've eaten that day and, and all kinds of stuff. I, did, I, I took out the, the seam stitches on this one uh, since the last shot. The length is maybe a smidge short. It does cover my rump, uh, but like in my own personal preference, I'd rather have something that's slightly shorter to accentuate my height than having something that's too long and it'll just look weird. The button, like the button stance placement is ex like spot on to my navel. And so I feel like the button placement is really good where the pants sit, like I can pull them up just a little bit. And then they also have the suspender, like the buttons on the inside and the wool feels incredible, especially for a 
six hundred dollar uh, jacket, and uh, you know I'm just missing the, the bow tie here, but it looks great, feels great. Uh, let's let's kind of wrap this up. So the final fit is very good. There's a minor tweak I'll have to make on the collar in the back here, which is what you've seen on, on my other made to measure suits. And what they'll do then is update my profile. And while there isn't a tailoring credit, they will work with you to find a tailor near you and make sure that you're not getting overcharged for things. So they're trying to make that kind of a full service experience without you know refunding you the tailoring credit, which is fine. A lot of these suits that I get tailored from these services, it ends up costing like you know $20 based on that. And then working with you to talk to the tailor and make sure what's getting done and all that stuff. Like I think that's a really nice middle ground between the other options. So let's run down some of the detailed questions you guys might have about the suits. Yes, they are made in China. They use half canvas construction and they use some of the finest wools that they can deliver at this $500 price point. And I can tell you that the tuxedo here feels as good as my Oliver Wicks one, which is, you know, around that same price. There is a nice suit bag included and a wooden hanger. It's not going to make Kirby Allison concerned because it's, you know, it's, but it's a nice wooden hanger and the, the bag is about as good as the suit supply bags that are included, which is nice because some other uh, custom suit companies don't even give you a bag. They have mother of pearl buttons on the shirt. They have real shell and horn buttons for the suits and the tuxedos. The tuxedo automatically comes with side tabs and suspender buttons installed, which is very nice. And then all the try-on garments are, you know, steamed, washed, and reused. And so the whole like shipping back and forth thing is very seamless, but it's also probably the best way to do it that I've seen based on trying all these companies without you know getting a suit and having have it remade and all that sort of stuff. And so I think the the overall experience between the texting and the online ordering and the try-ons and all that stuff is one of the best out there. And considering the articles of style stuff where you like get the basic fitting and then that ends up just you know you keep that and everything. I like the fact that you get the try-on stuff, you send it back, uh, and there's a little bit less waste than that process. So for $500 for a suit going through this entire thing, I think this is an absolute steal, especially you know, 650 for this when you're comparing to Suit Supplies Havana Tuxedo or Havana Tuxedo at 599 and some of their stuff will go up, up into the thousands. Consist, and then also including their you know tailoring tax uh, that you'll read about where they'll kind of upcharge you for tailoring. I think th this is definitely a steal. I get a ton of questions from guys saying, you know, either I'm getting married and I need a suit or I want to do my groomsmen and stuff. And outside of, you know, a men's warehouse or an Indochino, there aren't that many options for guys at this price point that also has this solid of a new experience. And so this is going to be something that I'll recommend to guys. And this isn't going to be the perfect suit for every guy. There's going to be some guys that want to either dial in the fit a little bit more or make a few more modifications than are available on this. But this is like for 90% of guys, this is going to be one of the best experiences you can get. Higher quality than somebody like a Joseph A. Banks or a Men's Warehouse or an Indochino. The experience that is like done by these professionals that have done thousands of bespoke suits on the Hall Madden side and just a really accessible price point because you know $500 I think I did a video talking about you know what should you spend on a suit $500 is a really nice point to get a great quality suit that can fit really well and last very long and uh, you know not really break the bank and so especially if you're a guy that wears suits you know a few times a year then this is a really good spot. So that is Lords of Wool. I'm happy to answer any questions down below. I'll put a link uh, so you can check them out that supports the channel. And I know that you know custom suit reviews have been few and far between on the channel recently, but I'm working on something that I'm really excited to share with you uh, in the future. And so make sure, I think I have a list down below. Make sure you're signed up for that because uh, that's gonna be pretty cool. So as always, I'll see you down in the comments. You can also reach out over at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. I'd love to chat with you guys over there. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.